I spent oh a good 10, 15 years managing Partick Thistle. I took them to the Champions League. I managed in Uzbekistan for a wee bit. I've also managed in Zambia and then North Korea. I beat uh, Roma in the quarterfinals of the UEFA Cup with Rangers. And uh, that was such a big moment for me because I was still you know, relatively young, 12, 13. There's escapism for people who enjoy football, and why not? I'm Stuart Milne, and I'm the head researcher for Scotland for the Football Manager series of games. I've been playing Football Manager well, for, for years and years now. I think in 18 years. Uh, 96, 97, 97, 98. So Football Manager, it's a game where you can take control of essentially any football team in the world and manage them to glory or to destruction depending upon how good you are. Football Manager is sort of that fine balance between absolute ecstasy and, and just absolute despair. I think having beaten Manchester City in the Europa League final with Livingston was probably the message that it might be time for me to maybe go outside for a wee bit. We've got on the basic level to make sure that all the right players are at the right teams and they are you know, correctly rated and you know judged by us. Uh, one of the things that I always get asked about is Mark Kerr. Mark Kerr was a, a world famous championship manager superstar. And it just so happened that Mark Kerr's combination of stats, whether it was his technique, his acceleration, things like that, blended together to make the perfect player. And everybody signed him because you could sign him immediately for about £10,000 and put him in the Barcelona team. I can tell you, when he came to Dundee United, I was hugely disappointed with him. At the heart side, it pains me to say I used to sign Lee Griffiths and John McGinn because it was just like a cheat code. They were unbelievable in the Scottish top flight. I think anyone who played the game in the 90s will remember Freddie Adu, um, Tonton Zolo Makuku. I signed one boy who was my eight, like 18 year old Brazilian striker just because his name was Jonathan. And that was one of my pal's names. That was the only reason I signed him, and he ended up being superb. Sometimes people think the only way to know anything about football is to have played it. And football is just kicking a ball about. You don't need to be good at that to be the best tactician in the world. The people who become, you know, coaches who've played football manager. I think one of our more famous examples is that Ross Wilson at Rangers, who's arguably one of the most influential people in Scottish football. He was my Falkirk researcher once upon a time. I guess the point of Football Manager is the thrill of taking control of a football club and crafting it to what you want that football club to be. Whether it is Rangers or Celtic, or whether it's Brewer Rangers or Bucky Thistle or Fort William. I guess it was a bit of escapism. Like, you know, I, I knew when the, when the family had gone to bed, I could just have those few hours to myself, just dive into another world. It's always something that I will associate with my dad, because it's something that he was really into. And since he's passed away, Every time I kind of play football manager, I feel a bit of a connection to him. You're living at home with, with three key workers. While you're ill, it's a very touchy period and you've got this thing that you can go to that you can rely on, you can lose yourself in, which is a massive help when you can't really do anything else. People love football. They want to be part of football and to take your team and do better than it was doing in real life. That's the dream, you know, take them to the Champions League. And so, you know, I don't think it was just me who fell in love with it. I think loads of people fell in love with it.